Uh, I would like to talk to you about how does an air handler unit uh, work and uh, what components, components does it contain and how do we heat or cool air with an air handler and also how do we uh, uh, supplement an air handler uh, with heating and cooling coils for further conditioning of the air. Basically, you can say that, th that this air handler is divided into two uh, sections. We have the fresh air se segment or ducts down here below, and then we have the stale air from the building on the top of it. And the stale air it has a temperature of, uh, let's see, 20 23 degrees. It passes through here, through the uh, heat recovery wheel. It's cooled off and uh, dismissed to the outside. Here we have the fresh air coming in. Right now uh, it's February and it has a temperature of 4 degrees and it uh, passes this way through the heat recovery wheel here. And now we can see that just by running the heat recovery wheel we, can, we have, have now 19 degrees on the other side. That means we have actually been able to increase the temperature of the incoming air with 14, uh, 15 degrees just by running the heat recovery wheel. And let me show you how it works. And here we have it. This is a, an aluminium honeycomb construction that consists of a lot of small holes. The air, the fresh air passes through it here in the bottom and the uh, stale air passes through it at the top. And when the stale air passes through it, the aluminium picks up energy from the air and the, the wheel is turning. And then when the, the cold air is coming in from this direction, it heats up uh, the cold air. And uh, the wheel is belt driven. The only, the only thing we need to, to drive it is this small, very small motor and a gear sitting down there. Um, so by having this uh, equipment on, this, uh, on the air handler, we can recover up to around 90% of the heat energy uh, from the building. However, it can also be used in a summer situation where we can use it for uh, pre-cooling of the incoming air. In that situation, we would have a temperature, maybe say we have 35 degrees outside and our, ins our stay layer has a temperature of 25 degrees and then we can use it for pre-cooling the air as well. The air handler uh, also contains two fans because uh, this, the stale air here and the fresh air has two different uh, directions. So we need a fan to, to, to pressurize the air in both directions. And let's take a look at the fan for the, for the stale air. Let's take a look here. Let's open this. And uh, for pressurizing the air, we are using a centrifugal fan sitting there. Again, it's belt driven. And actually, uh, it's driven by a Grundfos motor. It's a motor like we uh, see them on the MGE or the CR pumps. It has a frequency drive. Um, and again, so this is a VAV system. So we need a frequency drive on, on the fan, on the fans because um, we have to adapt to the varying needs of, of, the, uh, of the building. And connected to uh, the motor, we have this uh, CIU 100. This contains the, uh, the lawn module, which is communicating with the building's uh, BMS system. And if we take a look over here, on this side, we can actually see the heat uh, recover we will uh, turning in this section we find the the filters 
and uh, that's filtering the incoming air. And uh, incoming air or fresh air is uh, maybe not as fresh as it, as it should be. It con sometimes it contain, contains dusts, contains other particles that we want to uh, filter away before we inject the, the air to, to the building. So, um, and that's what the, the filter section here does. So like it, let's take a look at that. I'll just open here. Here we see the filters. They have a bag shape. And there's a number of filters sitting here in order to reduce the uh, pressure loss in the filters. But ha however, uh, they clog up. That means uh, when they're clogging because of dust, uh, the pressure loss uh, over the filters will increase. And then we have a filter watch, watch sitting here and this provided with some uh, capillary pipes. One pipe is mounted here before the filters and one pipe is sitting here. So now we can actually register the pressure difference between uh, before the filter and after the filter. And when it reaches 180 Pascal, then there's an alarm going off to the building management systems, telling the maintenance guy that he has to come and exchange the filters. Here we see the uh, air heating section of uh, the system. Here we have two uh, heating coils, one up here and one down here. And uh, they are working in sequence with the heat recovery wheel. That means if we are not, have not the sufficient temperature yet after the heat recovery, then we can add some more temperature to the air. And uh, before we saw that we have a temperature after the heat recovery wheel of 19 degrees, and that is not sufficient for adding to, to to, to the room, so in that there we would need maybe 22 or 23 degrees, and that is done by these uh, by the heating coils. And those heating coils uh, are sitting in the airstream, uh, traditional heating coils, and they are connected with each uh, 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 two mixing loops, one for each. And right now they are running. The systems or those systems here are running on very low level because we are almost there where we want to be with the temperature. However, they have to add a little, little bit of heating now. Uh, this pump, uh, the Alpha 2 pump, is only running with a 12 watt, so it's running on low speed. And uh, it has a flow temperature of um, 40 degrees and a return temperature of around 36. So um, the, uh, the uh, energy or heat added to the air is, is very limited, only three to four degrees. And this is, these are traditional uh, mixing loops and I will get back to, to, to how they are, they are working. And uh, let's take a look at the on the cooling side now it's winter outside so there's no need for cooling in this building right now uh, but if there were a need for cooling then we would have these two coils at hand one here down here and one another one here so we can actually both uh, heat and cool the air here in this uh, area and for that purpose we are using, again, two mixing loops uh, for mixing the right water temperature uh, and the right flow, uh, or providing the right flow to the, both the heating and the cooling coils.